Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'll be showing you how to make a good basic super saw lead in the ES2 in Logic. This is a really good lead synth to use in any sort of dance track. So let's open up our ES2. And we want to go into here and go on to initialize so that we're all starting from the same point basically. Now we want to turn on all three oscillators and we want to make them all saw waves like so. We're now going to pitch shift two of these so they're playing three different octaves. We're going to leave oscillator one as it is, but turn up oscillator two by 12 semitones and then oscillator three by 24 semitones. So oscillators two is playing one octave higher and oscillator three is playing two octaves higher. The next part is preference, so please do adjust it to what sounds good to you, but we're just going to detune each of these roughly. So we're going to detune the first to nine cents then the second to minus 12, and then the third to 12 cents. So they're all just slightly out of tune and it adds a nice thickness to it. Now we want to try and get a blend of these sounds and we essentially just want it in order. So oscillator one is the highest percent and the loudest, then oscillator two and then oscillator three as the lowest percent or the quietest. So I found that 46, 37 and 16 percent worked quite nicely, but this doesn't have to be exact. Next we'll go over to the filters and all we want to do here is actually just give it a bit of drive to about 0.25. So here's how it's sounding so far with just our detuned saw waves. So it's sounding okay, but it's clearly not going to cut it as a full big dance lead. Now we'll do the envelope, which is envelope three. Make the attack very quick, less than 10 milliseconds, so it quickly kicks in. Increase the decay so it's full along with the sustain and then drop the release so it's about 40 milliseconds. A big part of the tone for this actually comes from modulating the pitch of oscillators 2 and 3 so we need to use some routing. We're just going to turn these two off though, we don't actually need these. And we'll change this to pitch 2, turn this off and then set the source to LFO 1. Now we'll do the same for the next one along but for pitch 3 and then again LFO 1 as the source. So we're going to have this LFO modulate the pitch of oscillators two and three. We want to make sure that the wave forms a triangle wave so it's nice and continuous. And we want to change the rate to be about five. Now we need to actually send some of the modulation so we need to move these green sliders on each so that they're about 0.1. So here's what it now sounds like. Just need to decrease this one a little bit. So if we increase it, you'll see pretty quickly why we want to keep it subtle. So keeping it subtle does just give it some more thickness and a bit of movement as well. So this is the basic sound of it, but we'll also apply some processing and a couple of other extras. So some optional extras within the ES2 is a bit of distortion. So nice and bright, but it does just give it a bit of bite to it, which is really quite nice. The chorus is also quite good, but really I'd recommend just using another plugin for that so you can have a bit more control over it. I've also put on some EQ, taking out everything below about 200 hertz because it's just quite muddy and it can just get in the way of everything. Next I put some compression on, three to one ratio, 50 millisecond attack, 25 millisecond release, looking for about three to four dB reduction. And I've also put some soft distortion on. Next is a bit of slapback tape delay. So 0% feedback, 100% of the dry signal, low, medium, wet signal, um, 72 millisecond on that delay time. So that classic setting. It's also worth playing around with the LFO and the flutter because they can add some nice color to it, but I haven't put any on for now. Last but not least, a little bit of reverb. This is just a really basic reverb that I've added. It was just a preset uh, that I shortened the length of a little bit and removed the low end from the EQ. Adjust this to taste and make sure it's not overpowering. It can get muddy and take away the impact of the lead. Naturally, you'd normally set the reverb up on a bus, but of course there's no real point putting it on a bus when there's only one track in the project, but that's how you would normally go about it. 
The ES2 can actually be quite limiting, I find, especially when you compare it to some other synths that are going around like Serum and Silent, the Massive, but I found that this is actually quite a good lead to get you started, and it can also be used for pads, which work really nicely as well. So I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.